We're here with anesthesiologist Dr. Barry Freeberg, who is the author of Getting Over, Going Under, as well as an audience volunteer, Jessica, who's bravely volunteered to be up here with us. Welcome, Welcome to you both. You Thank you, Good Dr. Freeberg. You. Thank you. You know, we let in the back clip about Michael Jackson, so is there something to be learned from that lesson in terms of anesthesia and monitoring when we're using very powerful anesthetic agents? Absolutely. Michael Jackson happens to be the most famous American to have died from anesthesia over medication, a routine practice when this $20 sensor connected to this monitor isn't used. So why don't, why don't we place the sensor on Jessica and, and talk a little bit about the idea behind this. This monitor tells us the organ, how the organ we're medicating is responding. There's a wide variation, as we all know, in how patients respond to medication. In fact, there's a 60-fold variation. What this does is it transforms her mystery. In other words, when I have to medicate her without a brain monitor, she's a mystery to be solved, how I practiced for 20 years. But for the last 14 years, she's now an open book test. So I ask you, is measuring better than guessing? But to put it in perspective, only one person dies per day out of the millions that are getting anesthesia daily from this type of overdose that's giving you so-called brain death, so. Absolutely, but if that person happens to be your mother or your father oh, or agree. a loved one for a $20 sensor, that's pretty tragic. How's Jessica's brain doing? Well, it says here 98 to 100 is, is awake and we can obviously clinically she's awake. Is that like an A plus? <laughs> that's an A plus, Yay! that's yeah. Right, but the point of giving anesthesia like this is that if her brain is telling me how much she needs, then I can't give her too much and I can't give her too little, it's always just the right amount. Dr. Freeberg, thank you.